Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the North America Super Mario Maker versus Tournament. I'm here with my co-commentator, Lone Star. How are you doing today? Doing great. How are you? I'm pretty well myself. Um, up next, we're going to be getting the first of five wins with Unlimited Will versus Pump Nintendo. Pump and how have these last matches been looking for you, Lone Star? Uh, they've been going good. We're running a little bit behind, so we're hoping that maybe we'll have some good RNG luck and have some quick uh, levels here rather than... Uh, a lot of timeouts like we've been seeing yeah i'm hoping for some good quick levels these can be pretty intense but if one player gets a good breakaway on some of these levels it can be pretty hard to get back into it so hoping for some good luck going into this to anybody who's just jumped in we're doing first to five uh through the quarter through the semifinals, and then the last two matches will be first to eight this is called Looney Lifts. Uh, yeah, so the tournament's been going pretty well. This is our first tournament, uh, our first Mario Maker 2 versus tournament. We will be doing North American and European tournaments monthly. So, Yeah, right off the bat, we see Pump Nintendo and actually Unlimited Will both going to be taking a quick death. So Pump's going to be going into the lead, heading into the first door, looks like. And this looks like a kind of level where you definitely want to get a breakaway because if you're able just to stay ahead of your opponent, there's not much more they can do about this. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, because this isn't exactly an auto-scroller, but you're not going to be able to do too much faster than waiting for all these lifts. And there's the end already, so this game one's already going to be going to pump. Oh. Except, no, not. I spoke too soon. Commentator curse. Yeah. Should have taken just a little bit more time there, but... Yeah, now this is definitely Will's game to lose. Oh wait, it looks like he took Maybe a death. Maybe he did lose because, yeah, it, it didn't transfer to us to his view, so. Yeah, looks like he actually um, made a similar mistake to Pump, so. A little bit of a rocky start for both, but maybe he'll be able to redeem it here. Yeah, both at this point have probably seen the end and are just trying to decide how to survive it. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. And there it is, voiding the spikes and true ending. Nice. <laughs> nice and quick first level. Pump gonna be going up early lead. And now we're gonna head into the next one. Will's still going to be repping Luigi and Blue Toad for Pump. And the Legend of Zelda Arena. Okay, this could be an interesting one. It's labeled a speedrun level, but also for multiplayer versus. So we'll see what we can be, these guys could be getting themselves into. Expecting a Master Sword to be coming out of that red pipe. Looks like it, yep. Both going to be grabbing that before entering the door. Probably a smart move. And wow, okay. Um... <laughs> That's a lot of that's a lot of enemy enemy spam. <laughs> I do not know how you're meant to kill all this. Uh, there was no clear condition. Doesn't look like. So uh, first looking to try to take out the angry sun. Just get a little bit better in there. But wow, this is a mess. Okay. <laughs> Thankfully there are unlimited power ups, but they gotta get through all three of these Bowsers, and then one of them or all three might have a key in order to progress through. So. Whoever's able to get the key will have an advantage, but at the same time, um, uh, the other person can just go through right afterwards, so it could also end up being just a waiting game to see who ends up getting the right um, RNG with the number of keys, if there happen to be one or three from each of the Bowsers. Yeah, absolutely true. I uh, when, when this update first came out, I did a lot of testing and found that bombs are by far the fastest way to kill a Bowser. So, uh, hopefully they'll start dropping a few more bombs and see if they can take care of this Bowser. These Bowsers. Yeah, this is just a giant train wreck. Fireball vomit. Plus magic input vomit. Plus evil, angry sun vomit. The perfect yeah, so one of the, 
One of the nice things um, um, worth mentioning in multiplayer is when you enter, an, enter a door and exit a pipe, you do get a, li a little bit of time where you're invincible for balancing the multiplayer. But this can also this has also been pretty nice when you're starting the levels. There's already all this fire. There's always all this fire on the screen already, but they can just run straight through the door and not have to worry about it. Otherwise, this would probably just be straight unbeatable because of how much damage there is on the screen. Yeah, def definitely correct. Yeah, and they're really not making that much progress on the Bowsers just because they're all both they're both probably scared to get the first key and get in. Because if there's another key after that, then they're just gonna end up getting stuck and have to do the same thing all over again. Man, this level is a bit of a cluster. <laughs> For sure. Pump just sniping away at these Bowsers, not opting to use the bomb for whatever reason, but um, just slowly chipping away, getting a little bit more damage tacked on. So I mentioned that uh, my testing showed that bombs were the fastest way to kill a Bowser. Arrows are the slowest way to kill a Bowser. No. <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, at least there's one bomb hit on this one. It looks like uh, Unlimited Will might just be... Oh, never mind. Yeah, he was just waiting there for a long time. Probably just got hung up with avoiding the Bowser fire, but... Yeah, there's not much more these players can do. They just gotta wait until their arrows eventually just take them down. It's funny because... They're not really helping each other out a lot, but in this phase, I feel like it's almost beneficial to get one key. So there's the first one. Now, this is the moment of truth. Oh, you can just walk through this. Yep, there, there are three more. So whoever kills the last Bowser is most likely going to win, unless the other one's able to <laughs> synchronize death. Nice. Um, <laughs> unless the other one's able to bounce on them after they grab the last key. But this is just... It's going to end up being a waiting game, most likely. Well, frankly, based on what we've seen so far... I don't know how likely it is that, that this level gets completed. Yeah, for sure. In 75 seconds. I mean, I could certainly be wrong. But... Yeah, Pwn seeming to have found a strat, but... <laughs> it's honestly, they look, like, they look like they're doing co-op just because one's the lower platform shooting and the other one's the higher, but <laughs> have to go back and replenish their costume in this. Yeah, this is going to be hard to clean in the 40 seconds they have left. 49. This level is rough. Yeah, it's impossible to know who's going to win. <laughs> I think this is one of those levels where uh, if we were in the the normal league tournament, you know, the normal league, it might get a boo. Yeah, honestly, like, this is, this seems like a definite Actually, skip. Actually, it would have been a skip. Absolutely. Yeah, it would have been a skip, but I don't know. Some of those runners just so salty about their bad luck, they might just get a skip, actually. Not unseen, Feeny. <laughs> Another synchronized death. <laughs> you know, I've actually seen a lot of a lot of our runners boo levels, which is pretty awesome. Like, and there's game over. They they both. Yeah. How many shots does it take to kill Bowser? I think it is seven shots with a bow to kill Bowser. Do the Bowsers respawn then? How does that work? Because I, I feel like they landed a lot more than seven bow shots on him. But either way, we're out of there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But let's see. Bomb, I'm pretty sure, was two bombs. Oh, these are big Bowsers. Oh, uh, okay. I think the big Bowser was 21. Yeah, this one looked 
From the name, it looked to be something more of an adventure level. Um, it was labeled as standard. <clears throat> Pump Tendo starting off quick with the PvP strats, killing Unlimited Will. Yeah, well played, but now... <laughs> now Will, using him as a trampoline, getting up to that <laughs> cloud. No, but finding the real way up now, so... And taking you <laughs> to jump into the pit. <laughs> I had to check, had to see if that was the way. Yeah, of course. So the top right, apparently we need six red coins to beat this level, so... How do, could you explain to me how these red coins work? I'm not 100% clear on this. Yeah, uh, so I think it's actually five. I think we need five red coins, but uh, basically they collect oh, them together. Uh, it's There are five total in the stage once all five are collected uh, by either player. Then, then basically they can they get the key. Whoever collects the last red coin is the one who will get the key. Ah, uh, okay. So we saw that um, we saw Will knows now where that last um, key coin is here. I'm opting to get it right now, but oh, and that's gonna be the last one. So got a little bit lucky there. Yeah. Now we're gonna be able to probably take the win the on this end. one. GG's to Will. Tied game one one. And actually, yeah. I thought that was gonna be a really long level, so. Glad to see that they were able to push through pretty quickly. Agreed. Uh, sorry, there are still questions about about killing Bowser. So, uh, yeah, seven sword hits for a big Bowser, and I think it's four bombs for a big Bowser. Two bombs for a small Bowser. All right, everyone, buckle up. We got a puzzle-solving level. <laughs> All right, both runners choosing to immediately enter the sub area. And more red coins in this one. To those wondering about uh, BP's counting, in his defense, we're on a Discord call, and uh, our icons cover up the far top right corner, so it's a little bit confusing how many yeah. uh, question marks there are there. He does yeah. know how to count, can confirm. Yeah, for example, right now we're seeing that it is tied one to one. Um, yeah, I'm sure that was very, very indicative of my ability to count, considering it's on the screen, <laughs> but oh, <laughs> Pum getting that nice snipe on Will. He's been definitely leading this in terms of the PvP engagements because at the beginning of the level he's killed Will um, a few times and been able to send him backwards, putting him at a slight advantage going into it. So we'll see how that plays out through the rest of this match. Absolutely. Yeah, not exactly sure what's yeah, going I'm on. Yeah, I'm not sure what the strat is here. Oh, smart. Okay, using the iframes I mentioned earlier from coming through the pipe to work his way through that wall. But not looking to be the way to go as he took a death. That might be the way to go. I, it can't be the intended way, but that might be how it, how somebody could advance, <laughs> bounce off the Wiggler and their opponent. <laughs> yep, <Yeah>, Kaizo trick time. <laughs> oh, Will noticing the bomb on the other side there. Pumpy as well. Still, <laughs> nothing gained. They may have broken the level by uh, collecting all those coins. That's true, yeah. It was labeled as a puzzle level, so it's possible that they just 
didn't have any method to open, there's the give up. Still tied up, 1-1. One, one. Going to game number four or five. Uh, yeah, this will be the four. This will be the fifth level. Yeah, five. And then you got a standard speed run from Japan. Hopefully, it's the standard speed run, and we can <laughs> we can advance in this in this match. Hopefully, they're able to complete it if it's a standard speed run. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah, it looks like we got 80 seconds on the clock in the beginning. Nothing standard about this. Yeah. Luigi found the, uh, let's see, Pump, ten Pump Nintendo found the dev strat. Or maybe it's just the right way to do it. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, it looks like he's able to go above all these piranhas. Oh. This could be the end. Yeah. Oh. Trying to kill the sun. Uh, I don't know why that didn't work. Maybe you can't. Yeah, you can't bounce on the sun. The sun this. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, not Strange watching the level. right... Not watching the right brother there. Luigi's stealing the show off that one. <laughs> and Pumpetendo with his second win. Twenty twenty level short and sweet multiplayer. Hopefully this one could be good. Uh, this is a first of five, not a best of five. Yes, this is a best of nine. Starting off right off the bat with a pick a pipe, potentially. Um, oh no, it is just a pick a pipe. Okay. <laughs> well, let's see who's gonna be the lucky one. Pump or uh, pump or will. <laughs> Not gonna be pumped. <laughs> now switching over to Will's perspective. This looks like this might be an incorrect one as well. Yep. Palm finding his way over the top of this. Sorry about that. Had to AFK for a second for a crying baby. <laughs> so tell me what's going on in this level, BP. This is literally just a pick a pipe level. It's 100% RNG. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah. Everybody's favorite kind of level. Yeah, and been it's well... not over. Wow. Nope. Yeah, Pump made it to the very end, to the last pick apart section. Um, if he finds the right one at that point, he's probably going to win. He has more information on the level overall. But it's still, if Will gets it right or Pump makes a mistake, then it's really anyone's game. This is kind of a crappy level for this challenge. <laughs> you know, I think that oh, there it may... Is. There's the end. Win number three to Pump Nintendo. You know... That may just be how today goes for us. We have had a plethora of terrible versus levels in pretty much every match. Actually, the first one with IPK and Telethia wasn't too bad, but since then, we've pretty consistently got terrible versus levels. Yeah. 
Um, also, a good note from Brayton. That's true. It was determined by a player, so it is not RNG. But still, it's like you also said, it is definitely 100% random. Neither of the players are going to know where to go from the beginning of it. So, still pure random chance. If you can win. That's another one of those, those ominous titles. Oh, my. We're probably going to be seeing a lot of usage of the iframes. Oh, wow. That's so smart from Well. <laughs> Taking the risk of spin jumping on them just so Pump isn't able to grab the shell mitts after him. But um, when we see the first death, we're probably going to be seeing the utility of the iframes you get from starting the level. I don't know what the strat is here. Yeah, me neither. Oh, yes, I do. You need a, you need a shell. You've got to blow away that block. Oh, there I'm taking the damage and clearing the wave for Will, but taking a death in the process. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, and oh, there's man. the end. D he gave the victory to, to Will. There yeah. we are, three to two. That was a, you know, that that was not the worst level that we've seen in this tournament so far. Yeah, definitely wasn't the greatest, but still a lot better than the last ones we've seen. If we can consistently find levels like that, it will be yeah, okay. Nice, nice guy pump. I think that that was the kanji for brave. So this title may be called Brave. No promises, though. <laughs> Milo's getting thrown around. <laughs> <laughs> Is this where we need to, like, change that old, like, leave Britney alone meme, meme to a leave Milo alone meme? What is this lock? Is this another pick-a-path? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> this is rough. Yeah. Stages like this are what make you love the game. For sure. <laughs> yeah, that's... We need to find an on-off block somewhere, but... Where? <laughs> Almost certainly through one of these pipes. Hey, That's maybe that one. Pipe. Maybe that one to the left, yeah. <laughs> if only we knew which one that one was. Pretty sure that they've now both learned that the red pipe is the death pipe, so that's good. Yeah, but um, in chat, Perke noting, Paul is Pump just waiting to see if Will hits the on-off? I feel like that is what's happening. <laughs> that is the pro strat, honestly. Yeah, it's it's it sucks, but that's the way it's going to work. Yep, and there he is. They're both now it's a standoff because I believe Pump? I'm not sure. One of them was able to see which pipe goes to the on off, so now they're just gonna have a standoff waiting game. Yeah, my money's on them just calling this one and moving on to another level. Yeah, I completely agree. If they don't they because should. <laughs> they cannot both give up, otherwise the other player is going to win. Um, so the, we could just, this could just end up leading to a timeout. Oh, that's true. Hopefully, they'll both oh. be honorable and decide to just give up. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, and Will not deciding to take the chance and go for the pipe, just not, there's not enough time for him to do that and then get back over here and get the goal before Tom's able to reach it, so... There it is. Yep, exactly. This is a stalemate. <laughs> uh, but they okay. have opted to skip, so that's great. Yes.
in chat, sound off for who you're rooting for in this match. Oh no, why? Boom. Sorry about that. That's always a great uh, a great level title. Yeah. Yeah, we all get one guess as to what the ratings for this stage are gonna be. <laughs> Well, at least it's aptly named. It is a ghost house and there are booze. It's true. I think Pump screwed up Will a little bit there, so we'll see if he's able to get through this boo circle in time before he's able to make it back. Oh, and there it is. Gonna be taking a little bit of a lead unless Will's able to slide his way through somehow. Getting the checkpoint first, so now he's gonna get a little bit more level knowledge going into this than Will will have. Got a reset door. Mm -hmm. Oh, and now we know why. Wow. Just in time. Yeah, and we just saw the P switch go off a second time, so that means Will was approaching That's that part. It, but Nintendo. Exactly. Victory number four. Yeah, he was just able to get that one. He was just able to make Will slip up just a little bit at the very beginning, and then that was all he needed. Yep. <clears throat> you know, it's a good thing that once you're down at zero in versus, it doesn't take you below, like down to like a negative. Because if it did, I, I mean, I guess you don't get points for these anyways, but I, I'm just saying Milo's win-loss record is going to be real bad after after this tournament. Oh, no. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Poor Milo. But this is do or tie, die time for Will. He's got to win the next ones, otherwise Pump's going to be taking this. Yeah, well, but he has to either win or time out the next ones. Yeah, this, is, this is definitely one of those, like, uh, hard to come back from this kind of situations. Not impossible, mm -hmm. certainly, but it's a, it's a, you know, a reasonably sized deficit, but it's a little, it can be a little bit discouraging, I think. Oh, but Will has a chance now because Pump did not get all three of the, um, uh, well, Star Coins. I believe this is a remake of the Nintendo DS level 1-3 or something. That's what it reminds me of. I don't know if that's 100% correct, but it reminds me of that. And then he needs to get all three of the Star Coins from that level in order to progress. So entering the subworld now, yes, there was one in here. <laughs> Very precise wall kicks. This is definitely different from the actual level itself, but... <laughs> There's number two. Uh, Milo is the one who keeps giving up at the very beginning so we can spectate both players. Yeah, it has the propeller. That's the main reason. I, I I realize that now, but I didn't see it at the beginning. It was reminding me of it at the beginning. For instance, this part with the um, breaking blocks. If you, there was a coin in there in the DS version of the game, but um, stay. Yeah, Milo is actually uh, part of the GSA staff, and he's the restreamer for this match. So, if everybody wants to say hi and thank you to Milo for being a restreamer. We appreciate him and, and all he does coordinating these tournaments and whatnot. And have we found that final 50 coin? No. <laughs> no, we have not. But it's got to be somewhere. There it is. Now, Puppetendo can avoid getting his head jumped on, which <laughs> not looking so good for him. Oh, never mind. Oh, it's okay. going in the wrong pipe. Different pipe. He did lose his repeller, though. That would have given him a huge advantage, but um, and not gonna be able to get the um, fire flower either, apparently.
All right, Puppetendo. Hoping to finish out this match. Can he avoid having his head ground pounded on? Is it over because Will has the high ground? It is not. <laughs> Pump gonna be able to take it. And that's it for this match. There won't be, unfortunately, time for interviews. Uh, we are 22 minutes behind schedule, so we're going to jump right into our next match. GG's for Puppetendo. Stay tuned for some more Mario Maker 2 uh, North American Tournament action, and we will see you guys again soon.